They had a great game uh, against Charleston Southern with a double-double, actually. Ten points and ten assists. Robinson cleaning up off the Michaela Elmore miss, and the Tigers on the board first. Got off to a good start today. Told you a lot of new faces on the Bears team. Their five starters essentially playing together for the first time over their first couple of ball games, and the Tigers forcing a turnover. Right. Jones giving it to Downs. Downs, baseline, nice pass. Johnson with the finish. Great backdoor cut right there. Long time, and she'll have this team playing well before this year's over, I promise. Another one of the newcomers, Mackenzie Kramer at 20. Jones looking low for Locke. Runner uses a glass. State, but she has been a force so far in her first few for the Mercer Bears. Team she grew up actually following. Finish inside. Michaela Elmore with a save of the possession for the moment. Jones, shot clock at 10. On the wing, Johnson. Aspen Johnson draining the trade. Harris. Elmore tries again, gets it a go. First three-pointer made by Michaela Elmore. Obviously, she's got the green light. That was her yeah. second try in a short span. Strong move to the basket, not going to go for Downs. Jones lobs low. Johnson working through traffic. Whitehorn defended by Downs, who gives up size. Whitehorn went right by her. Too late for Jones to come and help. Tried to get to charge there, but uh, didn't quite get there in time. And Jones unable to save it to a teammate. Up to numbers. Took a nasty spill. Whitehorn. Uh, open. Well, neither team doing much. Clemson's gone nearly three minutes without scoring. And... Bears have yet to get a bucket in the second quarter, but Jones able to sneak by Elmore. Six points so far. Stacey Jones. She wanted. Uh, she grew up a fan, as you said earlier, of uh, Mercer basketball. But uh, Susan didn't recruit her, and then uh, she was more than happy to get her on the rebound. Six. Lead back out to 11. And Jones would have been a fan of Mercer when they had a great run of consecutive SoCon. Regular season in tourney titles. Reverse inside. That included winning more than 25 in a row. They had a 27 game winning streak when they first really got things going. Nice crossover move by the Miami sophomore. Three wins during the 30 win campaign back in 2017 and 18 for the Mercer Bears. Kramer tries again. Wood remains on for Clemson. Been a tough go of it from Williams. Clemson got into the 2 3 matchup. And the Cleveland State transfer draining the trade. High low inside to uh, Amari Robinson. Roush. Her first bucket as a Tiger, an emphatic fist bump. First team, Johnson sheds a defender. Can't get the bounce. Noel comes away with it. Coming up on a minute set. But Roush, kind of a, really a coach on the floor because she was a graduate assistant coach a year ago. Noel, huge bucket. Personals defended by Downs in the corner. Ott Robinson, her fourth offensive rebound in the first half. The first half for her, nine points as well. Add three more. Add on to it. On the part of the Clemson coaching staff. Boy, way out for Robinson, who came into the game just one of three on three pointers. Over the big girl, Harris. Quick burst of speed. Quick move on the feed from Whitehorn. Here's the ball in an eight-point lead. Harris again with a quick move. That's what she was known for at pick, was attacking the basket. She scored 1,000 points in her Panthers career. She brought that kind of offense here. Peguero making an impact. The five points for Mercer coming out of halftime. It really was, uh, and I think uh, Amari just forgot uh, that there was anybody else on that. And somebody could have been helping her out there. She should have had... Help from a teammate. She leads the Bears with eight. Robinson leads the Tigers now with 15. And another three-pointer for Robinson. Pinero, you saw the three that she hit. She was open on the wing. Penetrating. Tigers building their biggest lead of the afternoon at 12. 
Williams reversing. Not a bad idea around Elmore, but it comes down to Robinson. Robinson pump fake, able to lose Johnson, steps by Peguero. There, and the forgotten fundamental, a shot fake. Fake is the forgotten fundamental. Uh, and she used it very effectively right there to get to the... Cluse inside to her former teammate in the MAC, and Freeman finishing. Robinson on the wing defending Peguero, who steps back. Jones battles for the rebound and one. You mentioned just how quick of a burst of ability she has to hop or and off to a much better start in both categories. Couldn't get the free throw. Harris, no look. Whitehorn, happy to finish. Great baseline cut there by a good find. Robinson's 18 and 11 for Day Harris. They're both on the bench. Backdoor feed and a beaut. Freeman to Roush. Another good read by Danielle Roush. Great job right there of, uh, with the backdoor cut and a really good feed for the layup there. But another good shot fake. Elmore. Yeah, another good shot fake to create the uh, opening there. And the other way. Freeman that time from Roush. Gonzalez in the corner. Noel trying to save it. Another turnover for the Bears. Quickly ahead, Ott, Elmore. Susie Gardner again forced to call a timeout here in the third quarter. The Tigers lead. Lock, tallest player on the floor for Johnson. Ten-point game for Mackenzie Johnson. Her and their victory on Thursday night, 70-62. to 62. Here's Kloos shedding Johnson going past Lock. Kloos has been quiet today scoring-wise. That's her first bucket, but what a nice move. Peguero. Scored the first five points of this quarter for Mercer. Gets the teardrop runner. She now has ten. Looking to lob inside. Johnson comes away with a steal. Try to get it ahead to Peguero. Good recovery defense by Harris. Valentine just into the game for Clemson. Gave it inside Robinson. And it'll come down to Johnson. Robinson. On the verge of a third straight 20-point game to start the season. She has 19. Gonzalez can't leave her that far open. 13 in the game. Gonzalez on the court. Now they're switching back to the man to man, Pete. I'm sorry. Pull-up jumper, Aspen Johnson. She's also in foul trouble. Harris the rebound. In the game, Bears hovering around 40%, but have not been able to get a really good run going. Ott's been good. Another three for the Tiger from Texas. In her junior season. Biggest lead of the game for Clemson. Elmore getting the steal. Took it away from Jones. There's the manager's 23 points here in the second half. Tigers led 38-30 at the break. Noel steps back. Good three-point shooter for Susie Gardner's team. Needs one point to get her thousandth point of her career. Mackenzie Johnson. Closing in on a double-double with 10 points. That was her eighth rebound. From the corner, Noel. Done damage beyond the arc. Three three-pointers made for the Mercer team. Quick release with the defender closing by Noel. Yeah. Shot clock at 10. Aspen Johnson feeds inside lock. Nice look by the sophomore Johnson. Maria Saraconta losing the handle. She just checked in for Mercer. Valentine ahead to Freeman. He's with aggressive defense. Now takes the feed inside. And good defense for Johnson, especially when you consider she has four fouls. In the corner, Aspen Johnson, no. Lock offensive rebound and the finish. She's got six. So unlike the first half when they had several one and done, at least the Bears able to recycle some possessions. Valentine for a thousand in her career. Give her 1,002 points. Naya Valentine, one of the transfers. Northwestern part of the Buckeye State. I guarantee her mom and dad are listening to us, Pete, watching. And Ott stepping in for the steal. Her fifth of the year, scoop and score.
Final seconds wind down. Clemson will go to 7-2 all-time against the Bears of Mercer. Johnson missing the last attempt. And the Clemson Tigers hitting the 90-point mark with a 90-66 victory this afternoon.